today. That was good. We haven't had a bad. We haven't really had a bad session yet with the cast. That will happen. We had, some, we had some tears on day two. From you. <laughs> Every day. No, they weren't for me. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and two. I think at the time, Niall was talking to some people about doing a bro. I think there's a music, there might be a musical based on Niall's life because his backstory, his actual story, I don't know if you read his book, Le Freak, but he grew up just around the corner from here and his like, parents were heroin addicts and he'd lived, you know, in his living room was Nina Simone and Jimi Hendrix, so he has this incredible life being moved between California and New York all his childhood and then becomes a musician. So it's just this epic story about this guy, this guy living through New York. So his life is amazing. So this is my rehearsal diary for today. This is Wednesday, day three of rehearsals. I uh, just left the rehearsal room now. Uh, a little bit tricky today because uh, we've been teching something for three days, an idea that I had. Uh, we only have 15 days really to, to create and devise a natural space with the set and my idea doesn't work. So we're gonna have to slightly scrap it. So I hope that we uh, can salvage something. My name is Jordan Lee McCaskill and I play Mavis in We Are Here. Um, working with Steven has been great and I think what he's brought to this process is uh, helping us make sure we are really in our bodies. Um, this show is very movement based, a lot of uh, heavy movement, a lot of work on our bodies. Steven and the entire team has been uh, very wonderful about talking to us about the 70s and where disco comes from and really making sure that we have that knowledge before we just hop right in. Okay, so I'm on the set. Um, this is the first day of tech and we had to finish early in our first session because the sound system has failed. So that's a bit of a blow. Um, that's why there's not much going on around me right now. Um, the schedule, we're a little, still a little bit behind on the schedule. Um, a bit tricky really, because you just have to sit behind my desk and hope for the best and hope that computers do their job and that computers not just do their job but speak to each other. And it's quite a technical show, so we don't really have a lot else to work on while the sound system doesn't work and as it's a show that's got disco music from start to finish in every single moment we're hampered a little bit but I'll come back to it in a while you know the minute you start to look at disco beyond the kind of just the immediate sheen of it. It's really fascinating. It's an incredible part of, of, of certainly New York history in the, the, early, the early 70s. And, and then Niall really, just if you, if you just start to list everything he did in those years, but also the minute you step outside that and you look at everything, all his production credits and writing credits. Yeah, you just start to really track this beautiful like, journey through music, which I always like the idea about music having a kind of like a, just like a street, just different streams of, 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 of influence all flying over, over each other and everywhere else. And it's nice to be on a show where you're just following what Niall did and what he thought and what he said and what he produced and how he produced it and how he stayed true but was developing and pioneering at the same time. And so that's been a real joy to just have a good excuse to put your headphones on and, and listen to disco. Yeah. 